Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Dani Mantilla y esto es Quinótico en el Festival de San Sebastián, donde estamos hablando con talento nacional e internacional, siempre en colaboración con Fred Film Radio. Hoy estoy con los actores de Ex Husbands, una película que ha pasado por la sección oficial y que ha gustado mucho, ya os aviso. Eh, estoy con James Norton. Welcome. Thank you very much. And Mars Heiser. Hello, thank you. Thank you, thank you for being here. Uh, what did you like about this uh, international uh, story about a family full of men? Uh, for me, the film's tone is so specific. It's such a small bullseye, um, and I can't think of many movies which compare in that sort of that beautiful balance with the the comedy, the heartbreak. It'll make you laugh out loud, and and and, and it's got this very touching kind of heart. Um, it, it encapsulates family masculinity, asks these very probing, provocative questions. Um, but it's a very, but at the same time, it's very gentle. Nothing massive happens. It's mm. not a big dramatic movie. It's um, life. It's life. It's a little snapshot of these men's lives. And uh, I, yeah, when Noah described it to me and we read the script, I, I, I felt I could see these men. I knew these men, and I, and I, I also hadn't necessarily seen many uh, movies which represented them. So I was excited to get, get involved. And you uh, seem like belong in the real family, even if you are not family in real life. How was creating that dynamic between you and so with Griffin? Honestly, it was incredibly easy. It happened so fast. I think that uh, we filmed the Mex we filmed the movie in Mexico, and because of that, it actually sort of felt like we were on vacation the entire time and got extremely close very fast. Um, we even like had a little break in the middle of shooting. We went to an island together. Um, and we really did get along so well that I think that it hopefully translates well in the movie and it did make the whole thing feel very sort of relaxed and easy, um, the whole filming process, because we actually did really get along. Estamos de vuelta unos segundos con los actores de eh, Exactions, Men of Divorce, eh, titulada anteriormente, pero vamos a ver un clip de El Superviviente de Auschwitz y volvemos. Me interesa su historia. Soy el superviviente de Auschwitz, pero nadie sabe cómo lo consiguió. La chica que dejé en mi país no sabe que estoy vivo. Quiero convertirte en una atracción. ¡Traidor! Necesito ganar. No puedes, pero puedes sobrevivir. ¿Merece la pena luchar por ella? Miles, I wanted to ask you about uh, the chance of playing this gay character, but uh, we are used to watching this coming out of stories. This is not the same because the family loves him and accepts, accepts him. How was playing with that uh, uh, struggle within the character? Yeah, that was actually something that I love so much about the movie is that they portray this gay character sort of post coming out in a, you know, a family that accepts him and um, especially having the other two characters uh, dealing with their relationships, you know, straight relationships. Um, Mickey sort of treated exactly the same and sort of approached um, that way, which I do think is sort of rare to see. And I really loved uh, getting to do that because so many stories are about coming out. Obviously, it's a very universal experience that queer people have. But it is, uh, I think, very interesting to show sort of after that, sort of just living your, your life. And I think that the movie does that really well and uh, deals with conversations that queer people have all the time and um, I think it's a good representation of that. Mm -hmm. And James, one last question. I wanted to ask you about the new masculinities that, that uh, the film talks about. Did you like that, that part of the screenplay by Noah? Definitely. Um, Nick's someone who has had all this potential. From a very early age he was told that he's this incredibly bright man and his future is very bright and he could be, be anything he wants to be and that I think mixed with this expectation sometimes on young men to, you know, find the career and make the money and, you know, live, live this very sort of aspirational path. And uh, the combination of those pressures and those expectations and you know, the fact that he is this kind of brilliant mind just uh, cripple him and, 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 and mixed with his obviously quite s serious sort of mental health issues and his depression, um, the man, he just gets completely lost. And the more he falls short, the more guilty he gets. So it, I found it really, it, it was a very gentle, tender, uh, compassionate look at a man who is slowly being broken by the mm -hmm. expectations put on him. Congrats for the movie. I think people have really liked it this morning. So enjoy the screen this afternoon, I think, in this the Cursal. Evening, I think, yes. yeah, It's a really yeah, cool yeah. cinema. So Great. thank you, guys. Thank you thank for you having so us. Much. Seguimos en Kinotico.es con más entrevistas muy pronto con Begoña Donat. Y seguimos aquí porque esto es la vida en directo y el Festival de San Sebastián. Gracias.